Scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery about the Earth and its interior, and today we're going to talk about it. See, for centuries, humans have been mapping the Earth's surface as well as its oceans, and we've become rather good at it. But one of the things we're not so good at is imaging the interior of Earth. And that's because it's really, really difficult. But over the last 50 years, our technology has caught up and we're now able to see things that we couldn't see previously. For example, we found these blobs that just sit around the mantle core boundary. We've seen tectonic plates make their way down through the mantle when they should have melted. And now scientists have discovered a new layer within the inner core of Earth. They've called it the inner, inner core. We need to get better at naming things. So how did they do it? Well, in order to image things that deep, and we're talking over 5,000 kilometers into the ground, we have to use lots of energy. And this energy doesn't come from vibrating trucks. No, it comes from earthquakes. More specifically, earthquakes over magnitude six. See, when an earthquake strikes, it doesn't just vibrate the ground, it sends seismic waves through the earth. And these seismic waves are what allow us to see the layers beneath the ground. Kind of like using an ultrasound to see a baby. The scientists analyzed over 200 earthquakes and their associated waves, and what they found was rather interesting. Certain waves that pass through the very center of the earth at an angle 50 degrees away from the rotation axis of the Earth showed a slowing down in movement. Now that's a big red flag for either a change in composition or form. It means that there's an isotropy or basically a preferential direction for the waves to flow, kind of like the grain in wood. But to ensure that this wasn't a hallucination, they compiled or stacked those waves from 200 earthquakes and that is what they kept seeing this anomalous slowdown of waves. I don't know about you, but this is fascinating. We don't know much about this inner inner core yet, but it could hold clues to what happens to our inner core as it cools, and it also might have effects on our magnetic field. Either way, I'll keep you updated as I learn more. If you enjoyed this video on Earth Explained, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.